PFF, the uh, the iShares, I think it's the iShares preferred stock uh, ETF, still only has a 5.5% dividend yield. I was thinking about dumping some money into that guy because um, my man Ralph had just uh, posted a comment on a video I did last year, over a year ago. Uh, 365 days plus 22. What's that? 387 days ago, I did a video on preferred stocks. I think it's actually before I blew up my arm, my shoulder. And, uh, and PFF at that point, um, I mean, PFF, and I was talking about preferred stocks. And I had spoken about how preferred stocks were yielding in the dark days of 2008 and 9, like 16, 17, 18%. And I said, man, they got to be yielding pretty good right now. Nope. 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 Not yielding very good right now. I mean, yield 5.52 is nothing wrong with that. But I thought, given the price decay, that uh, they'd be a lot better. So be careful before you go to PFF or any preferred stocks thinking you're buying on the cheap relative to the dividend you're going to get. Don't look like it to me. And if you remember, 2008, you were getting some of these bank preferred stocks. Man, you were getting, whew, double digit yields and you made out like a champ after that you had a cojones of stone to invest in them though because we had no clue what was going to happen to the banks but man man you were making out like a champ the preferred pff right now isn't looking that great from a yield perspective now i have no idea what individual preferreds are doing i just don't know but financials are biggest issue of preferred stock so it seems to me financials haven't uh, fallen off a cliff the way they did in 2008. So, yeah, I might overlook preferred stocks right now. All right, we'll see you.